right, Dr. Andrew Pines at the Pre-Med Protein Expert. And even though I work primarily with pre-meds, you have to know pre-health stuff. And I go out all the time and I talk to dental groups and pharmacy groups and different groups. And so today I thought I would talk about pharmacy, which is, I think, um, in a way, a kind of hidden jewel of healthcare in some ways. In other ways, I think it's a false gold piece of something out there uh, simultaneously. And so what is pharmacy? What are the requirements to get there? You guys can look all that stuff up. But in a nutshell, uh, pharmacy, you do your bachelor's degree, then you go get a PharmD, which is a couple extra years, and then you become a pharmacist. And then you can do fellowships, you can specialize inpatient pharmacy, outpatient pharmacy, different types of things like that. Um, and then you get a career as a pharmacist. And as a pharmacist, what you're responsible for is filling prescriptions, educating patients on their prescriptions, uh, making sure essentially patients are safe with their medications. And you can do it both in an outpatient capacity, so you can work at a, a CVS or a private pharmacy. On that end, you can work inpatient in a hospital, doing inpatient pharmacy stuff for more acute patients. And then you can also go into pharmacy consulting. So you can work in a pharmaceutical development space, you can work in uh, as a pharmacy outreach salesperson, all these capacities um, of your degree because you have expertise at a doctorate level in pharmaceuticals and in, pharma, in, in uh, pharmacy and in drugs. Um, what I will say about the pharmacy career is that it has really morphed over the years and that there used to be a lot of outpatient individual pharmacies but what you've seen with the digital era is that a lot of people can get all the information they need about their medications online and so a lot of that stuff has been digitized and so the available positions for outpatient physicians are less. And so what the trend is now is, if you're going to go into pharmacy, be prepared to go into an inpatient space because that is where the job security is uh, for pharmacy. The other thing I'll say about pharmacy, like, and so I guess that would be understanding that change in practice. The other thing to understand is, like many fields, pharmacy is becoming increasingly competitive. So a lot of times people say, well, I don't wanna go to medical school because I wanna to go to this because it's gonna be less competitive. And one of those fields people say is pharmacy. And I have to try to explain to people, it's like, oh yeah, yeah. You could be a terrible student and get into pharmacy school. Oh yeah, you don't take MCAT, you get pharmacy school. But you still have to take tests. You still have to compete in the classroom. And it's still very competitive because who wants a pharmacist who's not competent? Nobody, right? So it's a difficult path either way. So don't just do it because you see it as an easier path than medical school. That's my bottom, my two cents about pharmacy is understand you guys can be very informed about the industry because the industry is changing and shifting with healthcare, with digitalization of, of the world and with a lot of these pharmaceutical companies being taken over by big digital brands. When you see CVS getting bought up in different places getting bought up, that really plays a role in what your career is going to be. And it's already kind of happened in health, in on the physician side and in medicine and where you've seen the individual physician practices disappear. Outside of dermatology and plastics, you don't see individual physician practices anymore. And that is right, a result of the market changing and large companies coming in and buying up groups. And I feel like the same thing is happening in pharmacy where it's being commoditized and being bought up by large companies. And so that's gonna shift the landscape as well. And how this shakes out and if it's good or it's bad, who knows, but it's something to be aware of and have it on your radar. And also to understand that pharmacy is not necessarily an easier path. It is easier getting to medical school because of course medical school is the hardest to get into, but it's still very difficult. Um, and I have tremendous respect for pharmacists. They play an integral role of the healthcare team. So there's no shame in being a pharmacist. I shout out to all my pharmacists out there who do their job and do it well and keep me from making mistakes. Because there's all the times where I'll put in orders and the pharmacist, and I can actually be a little more cavalier put my orders in because I know the pharmacists are on, on their game. They're going to let me know, uh-uh, you shouldn't give that because that contradicts, that's kind of education with this. And I'm like, perfect. Thank you, pharmacist. Saved my life. So that's my take on pharmacy. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Take a second, like the video, comment. Tell me what you think about pharmacy. Why would you go into pharmacy? Have you ever thought about going into pharmacy? Let me know. Let's talk about it. Um, take a second, subscribe, turn on live notifications, and then head over to my website. You guys know the website. It's premanproductivity.com. I have all kinds of great courses for you over there to help you get better and help you achieve your goal, whatever it may be. So I'll see you guys next time. Dr. Andre Pine said, I am out. That is it for this episode of Dominate Pre-Med. Show me some love by commenting in the box below and taking a second to like this video. Be sure to visit premedproductivity.com to learn more about my empowering courses, pre-med coaching, and live events near you. While you're there, grab a copy of my free ebook, check out my blog, and sign up for a free webinar. Being a pre-med doesn't have to be filled with uncertainty and stress. You have greatness inside you. Let the pre-med put the experts show you how to unlock it so you can dominate pre-med and get into the medical school of your dreams.
I'll see you next time.